Welcome to Tech Rezo Zadamu. In this video, we are going to learn uh, how to use uh, uh, the expressions and especially in the case of what we are going to do here, we are going to get uh, a name of a file uh, that's between the uh, two underscores. Uh, uh, that's uh, uh, that's going to lead us to another scenario. How to use uh, uh, these files uh, in the same uh, for each loop uh, and load in different data flows. Uh, uh, that's a very common scenario. We often uh, get a mix of the files uh, and uh, we need to load them into different uh, uh, data flows because uh, see these files are different. Uh, so let me show you right there. So look at this uh, Asia cus customer is one file. So this file is sitting in this folder and then uh, we have a uh, sales file. Then we have a North America file. So my goal is uh, to find out. Uh, I just want to maybe uh, the problem is like, okay, the, I don't want to care about region part. I want to remove that region and I want to get the customer underscore file because region can change. So maybe tomorrow I have another file. Uh, can, then I'm going to go paste right there. So maybe that will call it uh, uh, right there. It can be Europe. It can be same region. Uh, let me say this is uh, Europe uh, or uh, can maybe I'm, I'm to Africa. Okay. So uh, this could be another one region as well. So depend region can change. So what I need to do, I need to find this guy, customer underscore file. So if I have that, then I can redirect my file to the one of the data flow that can load the customer file. Then uh, in this case, I have a sale file that can be coming from uh, Europe, Asia or any region. But uh, as long as it has sales underscore file inside, that's what I need to read. And the, the date time can also change. So I need to find a way how I can uh, read uh, this part of it. Like in this case, uh, I need to read only this part and make decision uh, like, OK, this is my product file. And in this case, uh, this is my sale file. And then I need to redirect in the same package to the different data flow in the same for each loop. So let's go ahead, go ahead and take a look. Now, first of all, you will be bringing Visual Studio and creating your package. Now, here, what's going to happen? You need the for each loop. So we are going to bring for each loop here. And inside the for each loop, we are going to point where our files are. So double click here. Go to collection and we are selecting a file enumerator. So select there and then we are going to browse to the folder. In my case, it's going to be my test files folder. And what type of files we would like to read? We would like to read all the, the .txt files. We are not reading any CSV file because I have some uh, CSV files sitting in this folder. So I don't want to read that. I want to only read any file that has .txt. So that's what I want to read. Now I'm going to go back here and uh, I want to read uh, uh, the name and extension only. I already have the path. I can create a full variable and use a variable here. So I'm concerned about uh, the uh, only file name and extension. Go to variable mapping and here you're going to click variable and uh, we call this uh, uh, full file name. And then uh, we are all good here. Now inside that, uh, we need to make a decision, right? So we read the file name, but we have to point to three different uh, um, data flow tasks here. So I'm going to go ahead. First of all, I'm going to bring a script task. This script task is going to be used as a dummy. There is no coding we are going to do in this script task, but we will be writing expression between the script task and data flow. That's where the goal is. OK, so data flow, uh, I'm going to bring one data flow here. And I'm going to connect second data flow here and uh, going to connect. Sorry. And then I'm going to bring another data flow task and they're going to connect right there. OK, so now what you can do here uh, right there. This is a where our let me see if you have uh, this called product file. I'm going to call go ahead and product file, sale file, customer file. So we have all those three different files. And this is our product file. And this is our customer file. And then we have third one is called sale file. OK, so these uh, guys are ready. Now here we need to write the expression between them. So once uh, the for each loop is going to read the file, it's going to come to the script task. And now it needs to make a decision which data flow it should run and load the data. Inside the data flow, you will have a, uh, your uh, 
flat file source and destination and all that so you will write that by yourself well, my goal is here to just point you and get you to the right data flow depending on the file name now what we need to we have uh, I'm gonna see right here full file name and uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna copy one of them the full and write our expressions uh, and then we will use that expression so first of all we are gonna get that uh, how to use it so I'm just providing the value here this value will be overwritten when the for each loop is gonna execute so now if you go to the I'm gonna create another variable called file name only okay so let's write the expression and get this uh, part out of that like product file and we will leave the rest of the part so this is going to be string and uh, now in this string here what we are gonna do we are gonna use this uh, variable and uh, see right there so first of all I will be using substring I need to get uh, the data and uh, in the substring uh, let me bring the substring here and see uh, I will bring a file name here so that's where my full file name is coming right there and starting so that's where I would like to start right so I want to read the data uh, from the this string where the first underscore happen so that's where uh, my goal is so to find the first uh, underscore that's happening before and p product uh, right there so I need to use uh, uh, some function here so what a function I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use uh, find string so I'm gonna bring a find string here and uh, then inside the find string uh, I'm gonna write my all other expressions so okay in which uh, string you would like to find uh, that's where I need to provide so full file name variable come here and which string you would like to find uh, underscore and which occurrence uh, you would like to find uh, the very first occurrence uh, okay and then uh, the length uh, of uh, see this is a this length belong to the substring uh, so we have uh, this substring thing and then we got with the, this find uh, function we got uh, the our underscore uh, index uh, so that's where uh, it is going to be that uh, index uh, value passed now we how much length is it like say my files are 100 uh, length character so that's fine so it's going to start from uh, right there that's where it's going to find first underscore and then it's going to go all the way to the 100 so it doesn't matter how many characters are after that so you see right there so it's it brought us uh, underscore product underscore file name so we have removed the first part fine now i have to see it is the find string is given me the index or the number where the underscore is starting so i have to add one to it because i don't want to read the underscore so i'm going to add one right there so you see right there now it removed the underscore now the next part is i have to also remove this part underscore date dot txt so how i'm going to do that i'm going to copy this whole thing and uh, uh, actually i can do reverse or and use the same logic actually what we have right there so see right there uh, I, I, I'm gonna reverse it and pretty much use the same uh, these functions there and uh, get it done so when I reverse it uh, now our underscore is right there and we can use the same logic so in the same logic I'm gonna copy this whole thing cut this uh, and remember we saw how we started we started with the substring so substring and in the substring now we are gonna put that uh, entire uh, uh, expression we wrote uh, because that's our uh, that's the string we are passing uh, inside now I'm gonna sa save it there and say it is asking you where you wanna start I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start the same way find string right so I need to bring the find string here and then uh, in the expression I'm gonna put that entire expression that I just built before so I pasted it there and uh, which string you would like to find underscore double quotes underscore and which occurrence for the very first occurrence okay we have already reversed and length is 100 is fine so now if I go and evaluate expression you see that it has taken care of it and now it has removed the date and all that that was on the left side and now also have there is a uh, underscore play. there is one extra underscore so I'm gonna uh, delete that so I'm going to add one plus one here so now starting from this find string yes uh, add uh, you find this underscore but uh, add, go to next character that's what I'm saying now it has uh, exactly 
uh, created this expression. Now, one more thing on top of that, what we have to do, we have to do reverse because uh, we reverse it to find, bring the underscore on the first character. That's what we did. Now it is all good. See right there? So this is the expression you will be using uh, to find your uh, file name between two underscores, starting and ending. So I'm gonna, uh, gonna hit uh, okay. And what I will do, I will put this expression in the, uh, what you call the, in the description, so you can use it. So I'm sure uh, you, you will understand now, once you watch the video and all that, uh, it lo lo look a little tricky, but uh, you can uh, replace only your uh, uh, variable name, and that, that should work just as it is for you. Let's go back and hit OK. Now, let's try this, uh, see. Uh, it uh, from this uh, file name it got the product name so our expression is working right so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get another file name and uh, just uh, try like a uh, uh, let's say customer right so in this case uh, if I copy this what's gonna happen I'm gonna go back here and paste the full file name here and I will go back to my expressions and evaluate expressions so, so you can see that it is reading uh, the customer file name so it uh, uh, it is re it remove uh, Africa underscore and then also remove uh, underscore date dot txt from there so works good you know so we can cancel this out now right here that's where we can write the upper expressions so I want to see if I double click here go to the expressions and if I will say expressions and here I can use that variable file name only and then I will say equal to equal to and then uh, I am going to say uh, product file. I think that's what it is. Okay, and hit okay, hit okay. Yeah, that was product. Now next one is our customer file. So, customer file is equal to equal to customer file, underscore file. Okay, and now the th last one is a sale. So, Go to expressions here, file name only equal to equal to uh, sale file underscore file. Okay, so we are all good now. Now, if I will execute this one, these three will be executing because on each of the time it's going to get the file name. So I can remove this one. This uh, this was just for the testing for Armor um, or Tech Brothers file or whatever you know the testing file so this will be overwrite written so it doesn't really matter what you have here and also this will be overwritten as well depending on this uh, value so each time I for each loop is going to read uh, it's going to evaluate this uh, uh, file name only then it's going to come to right here and whatever makes sense if it is equal to this then product file if it is a customer file then uh, it is going to come to that so let's uh, go ahead and execute uh, and uh, in our case is package 2 so right click here and execute. So see right there and uh, we it has uh, read uh, uh, all the files and it only went to the product file and the customer file. It did not go to the sale file. So there could be reasons. Let's see what it is. So we have sales, see sales underscore file. So in my expressions I was saying sale underscore file. That's why it did not even run it. So if I go back here I need to fix this. So let me stop the package and uh, then uh, I will go right there. That's good test actually. See, it was sale. So I'm saying now sales underscore file. So now next time when this file is coming, uh, this is gonna verify it and then it is gonna run it. So see, this time it executed all three of them. Uh, and uh, th th this expression, you're not gonna worry about that. This is on the fly. So once uh, for each loop is gonna read the file name and it's gonna come to script task and uh, then uh, this, uh, uh, file name only will be evaluated and then it will be used here in the expressions and then uh, it is going to go to the, your data flow task so you can make a decision so i will put this in the description and if you want to further test in my case let's say if i'll say oh okay i don't know if it is working or not working and all those kind of things so i can remove this uh, now i have only product file and if i run this my package again it should not run anything else but only the product data flow so if I go right there, execute, 
and you can you see that it only executed the product file because everything is working fine it evaluated to to the correct uh, expressions so i will put this expression in the uh, right there so you don't have to do a whole lot the only thing you need to do is uh, you are going to pass uh, your variable for the file name and the rest of that query will take care of it and uh, it should work just fine so thank you very much for watching and uh, i hope uh, this uh, video will help and i will see you guys in the next video